हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रीवियस एम सेट ईयर प्रॉब्लम्स हाउ दे हैव गिवन चैप्टर वाइज दैट प्रॉब्लम्स इन दैट क्वेश्चन पेपर वंस वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द प्रीवियस ईयर्स वी वी विल गेट मोर कॉन्फिडेंस फॉर वॉट एवर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इट मे बी फॉर मेन्स और इट मे बी फॉर नीट और इट मे बी फॉर एम सेट एनी वे एट प्रेजेंट आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दी वन ऑफ द एम सेट पेपर द टू चैप्टर नेम इज द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड एंड यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट टॉपिक इन दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट दे हैव given the scientific principle that forms the basis of the tokamak tokamak technology is actually it belongs to fusion process you know that fusion process happen uh, we have to do we need to provide the more temperature so it is not uh, we can't provide uh, on the earth and we should provide more temperature means it happens based on the that uh, given options which is the correct option magnetic uh, confinement of plasma so there only it is possible because we have to provide the more temperature for this experiment then second question is look here here e and e not e and e not represents the energy t and t not are represents the timings then which of the following is a dimensionally correct so here look here option number a here e equals to e not equals to t power minus t it is not correct why lh side only energy is a rh side energy into time is there it's not correct when you are going through the option b also dimensionally it is not correct when you are going through the option c also here lh side only energy is there rh side energy into time into t power minus 2 is there so it's not correct when you are going to the option number d clearly they have given that that is e equals to e not into e to the power of minus t by t not now you look here time power t by t is cancel so lh side is energy and rh side is also energy you can say this is dimensionally correct then our third question is the dominant force see this question here see the dominant force this is the third question the dominant force experienced by an electron moving in a wire is you know that whenever the electron is moving in the wire it is producing the magnetic field around it so completely it belongs to electromagnetic force so option b is the right one then come to our uh, fourth question is here the absolute error in the measurement of length is how much 5 meters what is the percentage error see absolute error 0.05 meters and measured length is how much 5 meters so we know that actual and and absolute error then how to find out the relative error in this the relative error formula is absolute error is the 0.05 by measured length is the 5 this is the relative error when we know the relative error how to find out the percentage error percentage error formula is relative error into 100 here relative error is how much this is when we are doing the simplification 0.01 0.01 into 100 is how much 1% this is the percentage error very simple answer then come to our fifth question in this they have given one question what is that the nuclear forces are long range repulsive force long range attractive force short range you know that there are four basic forces in nature what are those gravitational is the weak and long range force electromagnetic is the strong and long range force but there are two types of nuclear forces strong and weak nuclear forces both are attractive and this is the short range force so from this clearly they are asking the nuclear force means you can say that short range and attractive forces is the correct option then come to see our sixth question uh, when you are reading that question we need one clarity here that is the time period is directly proportional to pressure power alpha then density power beta and that is energy power gamma we have to find out the what is alpha beta and gamma value how to solve this one see look at this paper side here clearly i have written that lh side this time period is 
LHSI time period is directly proportional to first one is the pressure dimension, second one is the volume dimension, then third one is the density dimension. This is the density dimension. So here we are equaling the power of mass LHSI and RHSI. LHSI this power is zero, and RHSI you should look here. Here m power alpha, m power beta. Then m power gamma. So one side only one side uh, that bases are same. We can equal the we can add the power. So this side R H S side m power L H S side m power zero equals to alpha plus beta plus gamma. When you can go through the term that length length power how much is the length power zero is there. So zero equals to here L power minus uh, alpha. Then uh, here L power minus three beta. Last term this is the L power. 2 gamma is there, so plus 2 gamma. Then we can go through the time power of that one. So here third expression also we are getting third expression t power 1 is there. Look here, this is the t power 1. I have written t power 1. And then R H S I t power minus 2 alpha. Second term it's not there. Then last one is the minus 2 gamma. So minus 2 alpha minus 2 gamma. So from this you will get one clarity alpha plus gamma equals to minus 1 by 2 when we are substituting in this expression alpha plus gamma equals to minus 1 by 2 means beta equals to plus 1 by 2. Then I am taking the first expression. Then this is the second expression. When we are substituting in this, you are getting one expression minus 2 beta plus 3 gamma equals to 0. Instead of beta, we are writing 1 by 2. So two two cancel. You are getting gamma equals to one by three. So now we know the beta value and we know the gamma value. We don't know about the alpha. When we are substituting in this expression or this expression also, you are getting alpha equals to minus five by six. So this is about the sixth answer. This uh, topic is very important. This is belongs to the third application to derive the relation between different physical quantities. Then you can follow that from the units and measurements. part 1 you will get the more explanation how to do this type of problems then our seventh question is in atomic scale in atomic scale the weak, weakest force in nature is in atomic scale one uh, one one thing is there which is atomic scale completely it belongs to atoms only in that what is that order strong nuclear force is greater than electromagnetic force generally you can say that electro uh, nuclear force is greater than electromagnetic force electromagnetic force is greater than this um, what is that gravitational force but here in atomic scale see that is the order that uh, what is that strong nuclear force is greater than electromagnetic force is greater than weak nuclear force is greater than gravitational force so our option c is the right weakest force means simply we can say that gravitational force is the weakest force then eighth question you look here what what they have given here see in the five successive measurements are there one is the a ball is a ball is measured 2.61 grams so first reading second reading third reading fourth reading fifth reading the question is uh, the absolute error in the measurement how to get the absolute error in that one actually we can go through the absolute error means first we can go through the mean of that all values otherwise you look here we will get more clarity on this masses mean how to find out sum of the quantities by number of quantities sum of the quantities by number of quantities here we are taking m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m4 divided by 5 after adding all masses we are getting that uh, mean value how much 2.62 then individually we should find out absolute error means 2.62 minus 2.61 absolute error in first reading then 2.62 minus 2.58 absolute error in the second one so like that we can find out the individually what are the errors see like that you should get the errors here this one you look here absolute error in first reading absolute error in second reading absolute error in third one like that then mean absolute error means sum of the quantities by number of quantities this is the error in first reading second reading third one fourth one fifth one divided by 5 means finally we got the absolute error is the 
zero point one one grams. The ninth question you look here. This is also very easy. G W E N S related to the strengths of the gravitational force, weak nuclear, electromagnetic force, and you should give the relation. Already you know that S belongs to what here? Strong nuclear force, which is strongest force. Strong nuclear force, then electromagnetic force, then gravitational force, then weak nuclear force. That is the atomic scale previous one. That order is different, and this order is different. Don't forget to remember. Then our tenth question is, what is the dimension of one by mu naught into epsilon naught? One by mu naught into epsilon naught. Generally, we know that we know one relation. How to find out the velocity of the light? That is c equals to 1 by under root mu naught into epsilon naught c is the velocity of light what is the dimension lt power minus 1 when you are taking both the square both the sides square here under root is cancel now what is the 1 by mu naught epsilon naught value that is l square t power minus 2 so our first option is right answer so thank you everyone please subscribe my